Hey guys, this is Lanky Draft 17 from Bad Kids Gaming, and it's just uh, just me today. And you'll notice I'll stutter a lot. This is what I do, and you, I can't help it. But anyway, this is a uh, free for all on Scrapyard. It's me playing. So sometimes I do good, sometimes I do bad. Just deal with it. It's how I am. Sometimes I'm just garbage, <laughs> and I, I hate to admit it. But anyways, like I was gonna go on. Uh, I got some things I want to talk to you about today. Alright, first off, what do you guys think about the underused guns in this game? Because we all know, like, half the time you see people using the UMP, the TAR, ACR, M16, and the FAMAS, otherly known as the Fagus. You know, that's just me. And if you, go, if you don't get that joke, watch a previous video. I have a lesson of the day dedicated to it. Anyway. <laughs> but... I want to talk to talk to you guys about the one gun that is my absolute favorite, and I always talk about it, is the Vector. What do you guys think about that gun? I personally think that it's just amazing. I think it's kind of like the ump, because, you know, there's times when the ump will get you a kill, and times where it just won't. Like, you'll, like, spray it, you'll try your hardest to get a kill, and it just won't. And that's, like, the Vector to me. Sometimes, like, I'll, like, have stopping power, and I'll, like completely like light someone up and they just won't die and then there's other days where it's like a two shot kill you know I don't know what do you guys think about it think it's a good gun bad gun let me know and all right another one uh, sidearms what do you guys think about that in general sometimes I think it's like I think it's kinda pointless really like cuz a lot of times you see people just use the main gun it's kinda pointless I don't know but like when I do use sidearms, I use the one that like no one uses, which is the Desert Eagle. Now, what do you guys really think about that? Like in Call of Duty 4, you used to see that gun used like all the time. Like honestly, like it was ridiculous. There was like no recoil on it. Someone could spray it like a machine gun, and there'd be no recoil. It was like ridiculous. But now they put like a they put a kick on it, so like you know, not many people use it. But I, actually, I started using it like. Uh, what was it, like a week ago? And I can't stop using it. It actually is like, it's really good because once you learn to kick, it's like ridiculous. Like, I could just get a, like, a one shot kill from across the map, and it just doesn't make any sense, but you know, it's Call of Duty for you. <laughs> what do you guys think about it? You think it's good? Think it's just plain out garbage, and you know, let me know. But, uh, yeah. What was it? Um, alright. Going with assault gun or yeah assault rifles, I almost never see someone use the F2000, but you know I think that it's underrated as well because you know if you actually took the time to use it, then you know it's actually a really good gun because you know every gun in this game is pretty much evenly distributed, but you know everyone likes to use the guns that like go get them kill like almost all the time. And you know the F2000 just doesn't do it sometimes. It, like the kick is horrible, but you know if you learn how to like the flicker it a little bit, you can get a kill. You know, but you know that's that's just someone's opinion. You know, that, my opinion is that sometimes it's good and sometimes it just is bad. You know. All right, but I got one question. I got one major question for you guys. Have you ever heard of like this new mode that's supposed to be coming out soon? It's called a uh, global therm thermonuclear or something like that I don't know like my friend my friend said that when he was playing Xbox a while ago that someone leaked some files that was in the Call of Duty's database and that it's like a mode where there's a nuke in the middle of the map and it takes about like a minute or two to actually activate it as if it was like a bomb and once you activate it like the game's over or something like that like what do you guys think about that like have you heard about it and if you have like like comment and let me know because I I kind of want to know about it because it seems kind of cool, but you know I don't know it's like it's just weird because you would think by now it would be out because like so many people or well, not really so many but like some people actually know about it and you know you think that Infinity War would just bring it out already so you know you think they're like trying to hold out until like a year from now or what because I really like I really want to know and you know if you guys know anything about it let me know. And another thing is, um, I saw something about, like, having camos on shotguns. What do you guys think about that? Like, I haven't seen anything. Like, I heard about it, but, you know, if you guys know something about it, I'd, like, let me know. I think it'd be kind of cool because it'd be, like, Call of Duty 4 again, because, you know, if someone uses the shotgun all the time, you know, 
what if they get like a bunch of headshots with it? You know, they'd want camo for it just like any other gun. Like, why do they? Like, why shouldn't it be any different from like an assault gun or yeah, assault rifle or you know anything? You know, you should be able to have it. But you know, do you think that, do you think that'd be a good idea, or a bad idea? Like, honestly, I think it'd be a good idea because then you know, it gives you a reason to use it. Sometimes, like, if you're like me. You never want to use a shotgun because sometimes it's just garbage. Like sometimes it'll be like extremely good to where you could shoot someone like as if it was at like a regular gun's range. Because I've had people kill me from like halfway across the room with like a single shotgun from a spaz. And yet when I'm trying to light them up with like an M16 or like any gun like a tar or something, I just can't get a kill. And yet they one shot me with a shotgun. So like, what's up with that? That makes no sense. Like, yeah, I know a shotgun's supposed to be stronger, but when it's that far away, it's kind of impossible for that to be realistic. If it were right in my face, then that'd be different. But, you know, what do you guys think about that? Think the shotguns are too strong, or do you think that, um, they're, like, strong enough, you know? But anyway, comment me and let me know what you guys think about all the stuff I said, and, you know, I'll catch you guys next time. This is Giraffe 17 from Bad Kids Gaming, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.